Hi guys, this is Ken from Fight Frenzy and I'm here with none other than Mr. Fox the G. Yes, brother. The young, young killer in Misfits, man. He's uh, really taking the scene by storm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You, I'm good, bro. Yeah. I'm good. So much just happened. I'm still kind of processing yeah. everything. But yeah, man, we're in Qatar. It's a beautiful city and there's big fights going down this yeah. weekend. Which fight are you most excited for? Uh, my boy Salt Poppy, man. Him and King Kenny, we've been waiting for that fight. Um, for years now, so yeah. finally having that happen, finally see who the better man is, it's very exciting, yeah. And what do you think, who is the better man? I know you train with Saul Poppy, yeah. so you will be a little bit biased maybe. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> but <I'm> very biased. <laughs> but no, I've been seeing him work hard for so long, man. I've been seeing him put in that work, especially for this fight. And um, yeah, I'm very confident that he'll get the, get the job done, for sure. And I also see you are quite a big fan of Gib. Yes. And I've been seeing your content, so you're heavily backing Gib, I assume, there, right? Um, listen, I, I, I love Gib. He's definitely, um, obviously other than Salt, my favorite fighter on Misfits and has been that way for literally before he was even on Misfits. Um, you can't count Slim out of any fight. He's got a huge right hand. They call him the right, right hand sniper for a reason. Right hand sniper. Yeah, <laughs> it could really go either way, yeah. man. I'm going to go with Gib because obviously I'm such a huge mm -hmm. fan, but it's a great fight and it could literally, anyone could go down at any time. It's, yep, it's the best I fight agree. I've ever seen. And I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit now. Okay. You're a big fan of Gib, you train with Saul Poppy. Say both of them win their fights. Yes. Gib versus Saul Poppy. Saul Poppy. Yeah. Uh, how yeah, does yeah, that yeah, go? Yeah. Uh, man, Saul's just too technical, man. Saul's too technical. He's too. Um, I spar him often. I, I know there's weight classes there, but I see the guy spar. I, I'm always going to back my boy. And yeah, yeah. Like, I, I see him train every day. Mm -hmm. he's, he's just. He's different on a different level, level yeah. man. He's, he's on a different level, yeah. And let me get a couple of predictions for the rest of the card. So mm -hmm. I'll name a couple of the fights and you. Let me know your thoughts. So Jarvis Ben Williams. Oh, bro, that's one of the ones. I'm going. I'm leaning towards Jarvis. You know, I'm leaning towards mm -hmm. Jarvis. Um, but it's like a 60-40, and it could be. I could wake up tomorrow and it'd be 60-40 Ben. It keeps yeah. changing. Um, but I, I just think that doghouse sparring he's doing at the Mayweather gym mm -hmm. is just going to give him a bit of an edge. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think he should be able to get it done. And what about this? This is, I think, the most difficult fight on the entire card. Uh, Deji versus Dawood Savage. <laughs> Dawood Savage. Uh, has to be, right? Has to be. Uh, no. First round KO? <laughs> yeah, man. Listen, listen. I, I think Dawood deserves this opportunity. Of He's course. taken Salt Poppy, Ben Williams, Warren Spencer, and other fights. Yeah. He's literally taken the toughest challenges. And despite how the fights went, there are many people that wouldn't accept the fight with even Deji, 100%. let alone yeah. all those other opponents, you know? So if I'm being completely honest, you have to just give props and say, bro, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I was joking, that would big respect to you, man. Like, it takes a lot of heart to keep <laughs> coming <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I just want to end uh, with a bit of a game. Okay, okay I'm going to name two fighters from the pro boxing world, and okay. I want to hear who you think wins. Okay. Fury Usyk 2, the rematch. Oh my god. Fury, um... You know what, it's like... I could... I, I have the feeling in my gut that Fury is going to do him this time. Me too. I don't know why. But I also can't see Usyk losing, but I just have like a vision. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I've seen it in and the you stars. see Fury, Fury winning then. Yeah, I see, for some reason I just see Fury knocking him out. I don't, I don't know why. You know, even I would see a knockout as well. Yeah. I think one way or the other, I don't know why. Even I'm getting a feeling this is going to end. Uh, yeah. It's not going to go the distance. Bro, clip it's, it. Yeah. Remember we <laughs> said it. this. Yeah, there we go. Remember we said this. We knew early on. <laughs> All right. What about Canelo versus Benavidez, if it ever happens? I'm so, bro, you are actually my guy. I've been wanting to see that fight for such a long time. Do you know what? Um... Oof. Wow, that's oh. another one that changes. Yeah. I think um, I think Canelo has a lot more experience than Benavidez yeah, yeah, at yeah, that yeah. type of level. So I would take Canelo, but I wouldn't be surprised if Benavidez got him. Mm -hmm. I definitely wouldn't be surprised if Benavidez found a way to get the upset. Yeah. And what about Javante Davis versus Shakur Stevenson? Oh man, Javante Davis, in my opinion. He's I think Shakur, beast, yeah. he's unbelievable, isn't he? I think Shakur is. Um, also, an, obviously an elite fighter, you know? Mm -hmm. But I just think Javonta has had more higher level opposition over the past mm -hmm. couple of years. I think he's been fighting more consistently at a higher level. And his performances against said opponents have been far superior to Shakur's in my opinion. And that's not to put down Shakur, but I just, I think Tank is just number one. I think he is. What about Dean the Great versus Ryan Garcia? Oh come on! <laughs> Listen, I've lost, man. Dean I love Dean. Calling right out. I love Dean. Um, I think there's there's a level there. Um, yeah. Listen, yeah, Ryan Garcia. Okay, we need a bit of that, man. Ryan yeah. Garcia, yeah. Okay, and lastly, better be ever, Bivol in the rematch. Oh man, um, 
was such a good fight the first time around. It could have gone either way that time. I'm going to go better be of. Mm -hmm. I think. Uh, who um, do you think won the first fight, by the way? Better be of. Better be of. You thought he won? Yeah. A I lot think, of people said they've all had one. I think it depends what you look for. Mm -hmm. I think if you look for more more shots landed, then you would probably go with Bivol. Mm -hmm. You know, better boxing, I guess. Yeah. But if you're looking for the more powerful shots, the shots that do more damage, definitely better, better be of. Yeah. You know, Bivol said the next day, well. even the shots he. He says the first time he's felt pain like that, the next day is, oh. it must have been, yeah, brutal yes. power, yeah. yeah. And lastly, to end off, KSI or Jake Paul? KSI, yeah. 100%. No questions asked. I have to back my boss, man. I have yeah. to back my boss. Of course. Fox, you're a legend, man. Thank you for your time. Always. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you.